a lot of high technology. I think we're advancing the state of the art in every aspect of this design. So iPhone is like having your life in your pocket. It's the ultimate digital device. So what should we price it at? <laughs> well, what do these things normally cost? An iPod, the most popular iPod, $199 for 4 gig nano. What's a smartphone cost? Well, they, they say you get the phone and some of the internet with it, although that's questionable. But they cost somewhere between around $299. You can get them for $199. Palm just introduced a new one at $399 yesterday. So generally average about $299 with a two-year contract. Now, these phones sort of do music, but nobody uses them for music because they're not very good. And so they end up buying an iPod to go with the phone. We know. We sell the iPod. And so people spend $499 on this combination. What should we charge for iPhone? Because iPhone's got a lot more than this stuff, right? It's got video, real video. It's got this beautiful, gorgeous widescreen. It's got multi-touch user interface. It's got Wi-Fi. It's got a real browser. It's got HTML email. It's got cover flow, and on and on and on. And this stuff would normally cost hundreds of dollars. So how much more than $499 should we price iPhone? Well, we thought long and hard about it, because iPhone just does so much stuff. So much better experience on a call and managing your contacts and visual voicemail, random access voicemail for the first time, and texting and email and real browser and Google Maps and <laughs> tremendous iPod and cover flow and video. And <laughs> what should we price this thing at? Well, for four gigabyte model, we're going to price it at that same $499. No premium whatsoever. $499. And we're going to have an 8 gigabyte model for just $599. So we're going to price it starting at $499. Steve Jobs goes to Macworld and he, he pulls out this iPhone. What was your first reaction when you saw that? <laughs> $500 fully subsidized with a plan? I said, that is the most expensive phone in the world, and it doesn't appeal to business customers because it doesn't have a keyboard, which makes it not a very good email machine. 